Hey guys, today we are 3D scanning our wombat skull, which is very cool. So I have it set up on this little turntable here, and you can see here what the uh, camera sees. And because of its height, we'll need to do a couple of scans. So first we're scanning the bottom of the thing, and then I will just raise this up and if you do it slow enough while it's still scanning, it will keep track of it and you'll be able to scan the whole object. So give me one second, I can't do that with one hand. Okay, we've raised it up and as you can see, it's adding on to the next part. And we're pointing slightly higher at it now. So we will just keep scanning this way until we've done the whole, uh, the whole skull. When you get to the top, you'll need to like pick up the scanner and hold it and kind of scan the rest, but yeah, it's very cool. We'll have a look once the scan's complete. Okay, so the scan is complete, and now it basically turns all of these little points, which it scans, all of them, and uh, saves it as a point cloud. And in a minute, we'll open it up on another piece of software that'll join all those dots together and generate our mesh. All right, guys, we are back with this uh, little app that will turn our dots into uh, a model in one click. You just click mesh, and there's a little progress bar, I'll uh, pause the video, it may take a while. Okay, mesh is done. You can see here it is a mesh and all the holes are filled up. Um, we get some pretty good detail there. It's uh, obviously not perfect, but I could learn a lot in my scanning method. Um, I could prep the model better. The teeth, some of the teeth were shiny, so they didn't really scan very well, so they're a bit flat, but after we scan it, we can post-process, uh, after we print it, we can post-process the model a bit and get it looking as real as we possibly can. And here we have it. We have our skull being printed. Let's check it out. And we're done. It's a bit rough on the bottom due to all the supports, but it turned out freaking awesome. Um, and the person who has ordered it to be printed will definitely spend a lot of time sanding and painting it to make it look more like a fossil, but not bad.